Hey guys, I'm back doing this quick video right here just to do an unboxing of my new watch. It's the Invicta Pro Dive. Now, when you get it, it comes in this uh, nice little box right here. It also comes in a brown packaging box. Uh, I'm sorry about the quality of the video, it's on my phone. But let's get to the unboxing. So, you get the top right here with the nice Invicta logo. Try to focus it in the camera a little bit. You got the barcodes on the bottom. The front folds down like this, which shows the uh, Invicta case, you could say. Move that out of the way. Nice little packaging box. Some people don't like it, but I think it looks attractive and sleek. Alright. You open it up, and you have all your paperwork back here your uh, manual, your uh, insurance paperwork comes with this nice wipe cloth this is Invicta down there, it's like a tannish color yellowish and I sized this already I took four links out it comes really large so if you have big wrists then it's fine for you but I have small wrists, I think mine are like 7 inches so I have to take some links out this comes wrapped around the watch, it's kind of a pain to take off the uh, string was caught between the links so it was kind of a pain but nice little tag and then the watch itself weighs quite a bit let me prop this camera up a little bit more there we go. There you go. There's the watch itself. You can see it's open heart. They had a uh, blue and stainless steel version, but I thought it looked kind of weird. So I got the uh, Rolls Gold and Gunmetal Black. It says Invicta on the face. If I can get to focus in there, it isn't. Alrighty. Well, it has the uh, open back, so you can see the movement inside. This is a uh, 24 joule uh, Japanese uh, movement. Invict engraved on the side. Now I thought that it was going to say Pro Dive right here and here. But I guess that's only the uh, other Pro Dive models. The Grand Pro Dive, I think, says it. But this thing is just so nice. It's high polished. It's a great dress watch. Really nice automatic. It, uh, it's been keeping really nice time the last few days. The one thing I don't like about it is the clasp on the back, this flat piece. I prefer it when there's uh, the bars that interlock together when you fold it. I don't like that flat section. I think it looks kind of cheap. But this is how it looks on the wrist. It's not overly thick. It's a little heavy. It has some weight to it, but it's not horrible. Now it's hard for me to turn my wrist in a position so you see it. So let me pick the camera up and I'll put it on top of you for you. There you go. It's a nice sleek looking watch and I like it. Alright guys, well that's just a quick unboxing and uh, kind of like a quick review of it. You know, I love this watch so far. It's been a few days and no complaints. Besides the fact that the back locking piece is flat instead of a bar. It just looks kind of cheaper to me. But, if you're looking for a nice watch and uh, don't want to pay up front, then go to shophq.com. And I'm not saying that because they pay me or anything. I just uh, found that site recently. They allow you to 
50 payments per month instead of paying all at once which is cool uh, so yeah if you're looking for a watch check that place out see if they have what you're looking for tell me what you think about this watch I think it's really nice it works great so far uh, yeah like comment and subscribe